How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I'm going to show you how you can mulch at like 25 meters. Or if you're not big on these super unrealistic stuff, I can show you how to do it at 12.4. And it's only going to take two mods. The first one is the John Deere 113. In that pack, you are going to get this adapter piece right here. And typically you would use this to put two of the planters together. And then next, you're going to get you a couple of the HX20s right here by Black Sheep Modding. Let's go ahead and jump in the sword and see exactly how you set this up. First mod you're going to need is the mowers here. Once again, this is the John Deere HX20, only $15,000 a piece. You can set it up any way you like, but the important part is the mulcher option right here. It's no additional cost, $15,000. The next mod you're going to need is going to be found under miscellaneous, and then it's the Tandem 1113. Only $10,000. There's absolutely no customization to this at all. You get it as you get it. All right, now comes the fun part of actually hooking all this stuff together. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and hook up to both my mowers, and I'm going to unfold them and put them side by side. All right, there is one, and there's number two. And as you can see, they are touching right there in the middle. That's going to be very important. Next, I'm going to want to grab the Tandem 1113, and as you can see, the rear wheels on this thing make it incredibly difficult to try and steer. So it's kind of like a uh, um, like a, a jigsaw puzzle. You got to try and figure it out and, you know, maybe you can get lucky and get all the pieces to work right the first time. But it, it's going to be a little bit of a headache at times to get this. Now, I got very fortunate that time. The last time I did this, it seriously took me about three or four minutes to be able to get it. But I think it's because I've done it once before. But that's how you do it. Then all you got to do is get to the edge of your field. Once you get it together, it stays pretty well together, right? They lock in position and it doesn't really move around. So as you can see up in the top left hand corner, we have two different icons that are stacked. The rear icon there is stacked on top of each other. So what I need to do is go ahead and lower it down and then I'm going to turn it on. And then I'm going to toggle through till I get to the other one and do the exact same thing. Lower it down and turn it on. You can see that the uh, mulching is already starting to happen here. And then I'm just going to go to town. Now, as you can see, I'm going 14 miles an hour. And if you want to make a really large mulcher that's all one piece, this is what you're going to need to do right here. So you're going to have to keep putting your tandems just on one side over here. And then every other one of them, you're going to attach one of these mowers. So you can see we've got it on the first one. Second one, we don't have anything. Third one, we do. Fourth one, we don't have anything. And then the fifth one, we have it on both. But you could keep on going as far as you wanted to. If you had enough horsepower to pull these, they're only about 75 horsepower a piece. So you could really make some really, really wide ones. Just be really careful. They are an absolute pain to trying to get together. Now, if you had maybe another vehicle that you were using to help kind of nudge them into place a little bit, that would probably work pretty well too. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for today. Short and sweet. If you want to stay up to date on all my future tips and tricks videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.